cheerio. Thank you. I've had a lot of people say, if that's what I want to say, then say it. Well, cheerio. Hello. And then hello. So this is a... It's, it's hard for me to even talk about. But I've had so many people... Sorry, I have a piece of hair right here. People commenting about it, which means... Okay, and it's something I've thought about as well. So many of you are thinking about it. But how much did Shannon Watts remind you of Lacey Peterson? Okay, now there were huge differences. I don't believe for one second Lacey Peterson was lying about one aspect of her life. I think that she believed everything was beautiful. The one thing that I'm not so sure I agree with was that there had never been any domestic violence in the Peterson relationship. But maybe there hadn't. I mean, remember, that dude was a premier psychopath. But both women needed everything to appear perfect. And so there may not have been domestic violence at the Peterson home, but I guarantee you there were times that Lacey went to bed unhappy or she was annoyed with something and she kept it to herself because she also wanted that perfect picture. Everything had to be ideal. That's not real life. So, uh, but think how much, I've brought this up many times. So the Watts, had they've gotten a letter from Chase that said, you're done. You know, remember, in January, they'd gotten that letter from Chase. And so Shannon took a $10,000 loan from Chris's 401k so they could get caught up on the mortgage. I guarantee that her nails were done that entire time as well. Uh, I bring that up all the time, but that's over $100 a month that could have gone to something else. Uh, those stupid fucking... Oops, we did it again shirts. You know, that's between 45 and $68 or something. You know, you're not getting that for $4. And it's, the gender reveal party was going to cost them money. I mean, Shannon Watts was not in reality. There's a time in the lie detector that Tammy says to Chris, was Shannon worried about money? And he says, oh, yeah, she was very stressed out about it. So stressed out about it that they were going to Aspen the following weekend for some secret thing. I, I don't uh, It's some deal that you, I'm, gonna, I'm guessing, you don't know where you're staying. Uh, you're just going to pay the price. And you know you're staying in at least a three-star or at least a four-star. But, uh, I mean, they they were falling apart. What was she going to do September 8th selling her Laval from her apartment? And how are they going to get an apartment? I can't imagine being the sort of person that is able to ignore reality that drastically. Because she was ignoring reality. We already know she ignored a lot of stuff. You think about Bella sitting on the counter and she says, I'm hungry. And Shannon says, you want a laptop? I mean, I've already gone off on that. Fuck, man. Uh, Shannon's reality was that her children were sick. And they were allergic to everything. And I should have brought this up in the Munchausen video. But every time they were in the fucking hospital, you had pictures of it. You had pictures of them with the, the stupid the nebulizer mask or something. Oh, my goodness. And the EpiPen. You can get an EpiPen for anything. Sorry. But the, again, the kids may have had allergies. But remember, Chris never actually saw a breakout himself. He only saw photos of them. And unfortunately, if someone has the history of lying the way that Shannon lied, it's hard. Yeah. I think about that, uh, Chris's story that morning. She was going to go spend the day with a friend. What? School started that day. She had just left to go to North Carolina for six weeks because, God forbid, her be alone all day with children. 
So if she needed to go be with a friend to deal with the emotions and the stress that she was having, the last thing she was going to do was bring those children with her. She'd have dropped them off at Penrose, Primrose, where they're paying 500 and change every week. My goodness, you're paying that much money? Fucking A right. Your kid's going to be there. They're going to get every meal offered to them. You pick your kid up early and they miss the juice and the snack. You're like, oh, I'll take it with me. Thank you. Because I gave you $525 this week. I just, oh, goodness. Okay. It makes me sick. Uh, my, my heart breaks for both parents. It's probably equally as hard. Well, shoot. It doesn't really matter what the man is like. It, I can't even imagine your child being murdered by a person who you had loved, who you had brought into your family. And Lacey's family had brought Scott into his family. And I'm going to tell you, I never really got the feeling that the Petersons really loved Lacey. I felt like they didn't think she was good enough for him. And there was nothing wrong with her. She was an educated woman. She wasn't trash. There was nothing wrong with her. Uh, okay. I'm, again... I'm not trying to hurt anyone. To me, that these two women were just too creepily similar. If you're still watching right now, I am shocked. Hit like, hit subscribe. God bless America.